So I just got back in the house and before I go ahead and take my makeup off and I, you know, pull the hair off and get in bed, I wanted to show you this gorgeous, beautiful, absolutely amazing unit that I've been rocking the last few days. This has been my weekend wig. This has been my poolside wig and she is so fire. This one does come courtesy of Ali Pearl. They sent this gorgeous, gorgeous girl over as a closure wig and I'm going to show you how I install her from start to finish straight out of the box. It's going to be a very easy beginner friendly install because this definitely was an easy unit to conquer. I love the curl. Like look at these curls they're absolutely beautiful they definitely give a natural vibe now with mine i like a little bit of frizz to it but you'll see how like i tame it down and i kind of like to judge it after it's like tamed and set and kind of give it a little bit of a frizziness i don't know for me that is just i don't know i like it, it just gives like a little grunge a little natural i'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the tutorial be sure to check her out i do have a direct link in the description box and without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the install okay ladies let's get right into it today we're rocking a wear and go deep wave pre-cut lace closure wig she's in the length 26 inches and it is a 5x5 five five closure she comes with an adjustable elastic band and I'm gearing that up I like to make sure it's nice and snug and usually I'll start off by adding the elastic band then the back of the wig and then the front this is what the wig looks like on we definitely are going for the va va boom and going out with the summer with a bang this is what she looks like from the back the deep wave texture is definitely deep waving she came already set as a center part and because she is a closure i'm gonna keep her as one but sometimes i like to go in and repart it because sometimes you just feel like the parting is just too perfect and you almost want it to be a little bit raggedy to make it look a little bit more natural and yes i did just burn myself i'm gonna go in with the dynamic duo with this one this one is nice and dense so she can definitely handle a little heat you guys know i like no lumps no bumps when it comes to my lace i like to get it as flat as i can and and although a lot of the times having a braid down that is super flat or whatever style you have underneath with your natural hair that being flat as possible is the best way to get like the flattest install on the planet for me i do kind of keep my hair in two french braids and sometimes it will get a little messy under there so the dynamic duo definitely helps me out here i'm going in and i'm just tinting the parting i'm using the Too faced concealer and this one is i believe this one is my shade it may be like one shade lighter but if i remember correctly this is my exact shade and i'm gonna go ahead and just stamp out the baby hair now for this one you guys already know i typically like baby hair with my closure wigs almost always i like to go ahead and just make those two swoops where the lace ends and the rest of the wig cap begins and this is just going to help to give more so like frontal vibes and kind of conceal the fact that it is a um closure if you do want to um get a different cap construction as i did mention i do have a five by five but she also comes as a four by seven as well as a six by six so you can definitely go in and just pick out your dimensions to be exactly what you like i don't know if i mentioned but she is 250 percent density but i think you guys can tell she's nice and full and i'm loving it after i did the baby hair i went ahead and just tinted that lace and you can see my makeup is not even done and you can see how beautifully it melts and that's one thing i do want to mention is that the powder that i use to tint my hairline matches my lace whether i have on makeup or not the best thing to do after you do your hairline no matter how satisfied you are with it is to go ahead and melt it even more a wig band is a key essential for installing your own wigs now let's go ahead and add some product as always you do want to start off with a good amount of h2o especially because this one is a nice full heavy density it can definitely stand a lot of water it's best to go in and wash and condition your wigs before your install or at least just co-wash it with a little bit of conditioner that way you're starting off with a great amount of moisture since i am doing a straight out of the box install you guys can see i just went in and just wet it down got it kind of moist um went in and detangled and make sure that you know i kind of checked the wig out you want to see if it's gonna like shed or anything like that and while i'm talking i am trying out a new product this is a mousse from ogx i did pick it up from my local target you guys know i'm typically used to like my nairobi and my lot of body and those are more like alcohol water based this is a strong foam and it is in an aerosol can so it expands when you spray it out so i wasn't expecting it to drop and apply like that but you definitely um can get a great great payoff curl pattern payoff with this one to keep the curls soft i did add their air dry cream on top 
and this gave me the perfect amount of sheen it gave me the perfect amount of definition here is a before and after i love this product these two product combo together they gave like this coily curl that like i can't describe but it's absolutely amazing and i did the opposite side off camera okay ladies i have literally seven minutes to have the kids at swim lessons luckily it is obviously in my community but I actually have to get them in the car and get them there. So I wanted to show you guys what their hair looks like before I head out because I'm going to be at the pool for the next hour and a half. So who knows if it will be a hot mess or what, but it is still 100% glueless. Look how this one twisted up in the curl pattern as it's drying. It should be completely dry when I get back. I'm going to the pool literally with a full face of makeup. This is the look. I will be back in a minute to give you the final result of how it holds up in the pool. Yeah, let's go, ladies. Okay, ladies. So we are done with the look. Absolutely in love. In fact, I just got home from running errands, and I'm showing you guys how it looks two days later. Um, I didn't get to finish the look um, on the day that I filmed it. So this is a very raw and organic, like, final look because you're seeing what it looks like after like two days of wear. And you guys know it's nice and hot and warm in LA. So she has been giving the girls looks. Look how beautiful and defined the curls are. I love when you have some of these like individual spiral curls. I also love when it has a little bit of frizz to it. Obviously I can take my H2O, I can take a little bit of mousse and kind of just tame it. But I kind of like when it's like big and a little bit frizzy because my hair is not silky smooth and perfect. So I want the hair to kind of, you know, have a little roughness, a little razzle dazzle because my hair, you know, it razzle dazzles. Anyways, as I mentioned, this one did come from Ali Pearl. You guys have seen Ali Pearl um, shared on my channel many a times. I think this is some newer packaging for my channel. I don't think you've ever seen this gold, but the gold is fire. So keep the gold, Ali Pearl. It's absolutely beautiful. They also included some goodies. Um, the one thing that they did give was the adjustable elastic band. It did come inside of my wig, but I told you guys when I bond my wig down, I typically don't use the elastic band just because I don't like extra tension on my nape. And typically what I would do is just to go ahead and throw it in the dust bag. And speaking of the dust bag, this is the one that they included. It's cute and pink. They also provided a pack of HD wig caps, which I've been running out surprisingly. A edge brush, a nice pack of lashes, and they do say Ali Pro and have their logo on it. And they're nice and full. Then they also gave this wig band or like, you know, like headband. It's nice and thick and it can go around the hairline and edges really nicely to keep them laid down. And this is really pretty. This is a melt belt. And as you guys can see, it's very silver and gaudy. It almost reminds you of rhinestones, but it's actually just silver. Like it's like a cross between like rhinestones and glitter look to the eyes, but it's not that. It's just a texture. But this is absolutely beautiful. So, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. And as you guys can see, we are absolutely popping. Be sure to check this one out. There is a direct link to her in the description box. I love, 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 love the texture and curls on her. She is a baddie for sure. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.